We've taken over most of Pier 59 this week. Um, we have a whole studio for wardrobe, we have a whole studio for hair and makeup, and then we have a whole studio that's all the different sets that Michael's been shooting all the portraits in. So we've taken up a lot of space, but, but we need it. I think what we always try to do with Gap is really try to capture a unique personality. We, we try to capture people as themselves. Um, we don't totally make over people. We really bring out their own style and work with them to select clothes that, that feel like something they would wear and many times it's something they already are wearing with it. From the start I was asked to bring pieces that you know, meant a lot to me, pieces that represented my style. This is my mother's bracelet I love from probably the 60s and 70s. And then I've got um, this piece I wear just about every day that's from one of my best friends. I mean, I swear that for like three minutes. <laughs> The most important thing in all our advertising is a sense of life. There's a spirit, a personal style, a personal soul. There's an emotion that I think comes through strong portraiture. There's a whole different type of different personalities. I was spotting people I knew and I was like, oh, hello. They're all different flavors and you just try to find what's special about that person and bring it out. I don't think anything can get more intimidating than 20,000 people at Madison Square Garden. So it was kind of a smooth transition and it was just more fun than anything. Mm -hmm. Um, this incredible guy from The Great Debaters, Nate Parker. And he's got several movies coming out and he had such a cool sense of style and really confident, really easy to shoot. There's always someone that totally wants to do a transformation. So when Liv Tyler came in, she kept saying, you know what, I've been dying to get my haircut, I've been dying to get my haircut. I've always had such long hair and I've always wanted that feeling of like... So she sat down and within five minutes she had a totally new haircut. So Eugene Jean totally gave her a new look and she walked out very happy. Oh my god, it feels so weird. I have a new hairdo and I'm so excited. Eugene cut all my hair off. Nice. She wanted to just wear a sweater with nothing else. I stole another girl's look from one of the Polaroids that I thought would suit me more. But it was great, this big beautiful cardigan. I just finished shooting The Gap, my first picture for The Gap. They asked me to bring anything that represents a bit my personality and so I brought some of my favorite pairs of heels and uh, some of my favorite jewelry. I love those. Um, I just brought those. I love those. Yeah, those are nice. I'm really happy. I'm really happy I work with Michael Jensen. He was telling me what's working, what's not working. He was directing me also a little bit because I'm not a professional model so I need a little bit of help of how to move, what looks the best. I just, you know, I didn't believe it until I was here. So I think that's why it overwhelmed me. I think it's going to be really cool. So I'm really honored just to be included. Mark did incredible makeup. I don't think it's a given to do like dark lips, to do something severe with my hair. It was quite fun because I kind of assumed they would do the usual straighten and wind machine and I'm kind of glad they didn't. Something really natural, really easy. Um, so we really look for people that have a strong sense of personal style, um, that, that have character, that have personality, that excel in whatever they do, whether they're an architect or an actor or a model. It's the best feeling every season when you complete a campaign, you feel really good about it. Um, you always try to do the best job, you always want to outdo yourself, you always want to push it further, and I really feel like we've captured something this season that hopefully everyone will be proud of.